So I'm going to demonstrate some ways of sampling aquatic arthropods today. And there are several ways of, of sampling them, and there are several things you need to keep in mind when you sample. The first of these is which groups you wish to sample. For example, if you're interested in mosquito larvae, you'll want to sample at the water surface. But if you're interested in odonate larvae, you're going to want to sample on the bottom of a body of water. And the other thing you need to keep in mind is the depth of the body of water. We're going to be working with something that's quite shallow today. If you're working in something that um, requires a boat, then there's different techniques that you can use to try to sample the bottom. Um, there are dredges, for example, that go down and take a bite out of the substrate and retrieve it back to the surface, and you can sort from there. But we're going to be working with shallow bodies of water today. The most commonly used uh, technique is called a D-net because of the shape of the net itself. It's an aquatic net, short, um, robust, and we're going to sweep it in the water. And you do a standard number of sweeps. You pull it up, and you see what you've got, like this. A D-net is most useful for sampling organisms on the bottom. It's less useful for organisms on the surface, and there are very few arthropods that occupy the water column itself. So you drag it along the bottom, and you try to get the stuff on the bottom into the net. Then you take this back to land, and you sort it. So now you've got your D-net here. You've got the material that you've collected. You can either dump this into a container and pick out the arthropods from there, or you can kind of do it roughly in the field to sort of poke your way through and look for uh, nymphs, larvae, so forth. The D-net is useful for sampling a wide variety of aquatic arthropods, but if you're interested in specific groups, you need to target their specific habitats. For example, if you're interested in stoneflies, you should turn over stones. If you're interested in water striders or water boatsmen that skim the water surface, you need to visually scan the water surface. You can also use light trapping, and there's a variety of other techniques that you can use to sample aquatic arthropods. Another thing to keep in mind when you sample aquatic arthropods is the type of water body that you're sampling. There's a big difference between standing water and running water, and there are different arthropods that live in each. This is a relatively still impoundment of the Brazos River that I'm standing in, and it consequently um, has very little uh, low dissolved oxygen, has warm water, has a high degree of solute and turbidity in it, and running water tends to have a different group of fauna that have higher oxygen requirements and so forth. So you will get a different community of arthropods in still water versus running water. Something you should keep in mind, especially in still water, but this is also appropriate for running water, is that when you walk, you may stir up the sediments on the bottom, and that can both cloud your vision, um, obscuring things that you might see on the bottom, and it can also flush arthropods away. So you can actually wind up with a, a very, very turbid situation, making it very difficult to see arthropods.